Hey guys, what's up? Fragman Saul here and welcome to my beginner's guide to GTA Online. Uh, I've got eight tips that will hopefully help you guys get a head start in GTA uh, and yeah, here they are. So my first tip is during the character creation stage uh, is allocation of those stat points. Now you might want to think about ramping up strength and lung capacity uh, as they're the two hardest and slowest to level up. Second tip for you guys is a brief description of how to level up these uh, stat points. Well, stamina is pretty straightforward. It's uh, sprinting, swimming, or cycling. Uh, and a cheeky way of doing it is just to get into that bay uh, and go swimming for an hour while you're reading a book or searching on the internet with your finger on the key or maybe a bit of blue tack, whatever you want. Uh, shooting will be increased from just shooting things, but you do get additional points for getting headshots. So uh, make sure you get those headshots in. Strength is increased by having a fist fight. Uh, and you, for every 20 punches you get, you get 1% uh, increase. Uh, you also get an increase using the arm wrestle uh, mission, but uh, you need another person to play that with, so uh, it might be easy to just go around punching the crap out of things. Stealth mode is increased from obviously being in stealth mode, but you can't be running, you've got to be walking, uh, and also getting stealth kills helps uh, increase this. Flying, you've just got to be basically flying, uh, and for every 10 minutes you get an increase. Uh, so um, yeah, just get yourself in a plane or a helicopter and off you go. Driving will increase when just driving around, but if you do do the jumps and you get good air time, uh, it'll go up quicker. So just make sure you hit those ramps and get as much air time as possible. Uh, your lung capacity uh, is increased from diving. So you've got to be for every, I think one minute underwater, you get a 1% increase. So that is uh, possibly quite a slow leveling up. So yeah. Uh, also just a little thing here, uh, your max health, uh, is increased every 20 levels. So my third tip for you guys is to play the tutorial. Um, it will probably save you approximately about $14,000 by sorting your first car out. So it's definitely worth that sort of 20 minutes to invest into. Also, you'll probably come out with maybe one or two levels, uh, which is quite good. So uh, when choosing your car, make sure you pick a good one because it will be sticking with you probably for the next 20 uh, levels before you get that garage or house. Um, so uh, these are eight cars that I recommend you have a look at. So the money you save from doing the tutorial is basically here. Uh, you get a free paint job on the car that you've chosen uh, as yours uh, and you also get that tracker and insurance. So adding that all up is going to be about 14,000. Fourth tip for you guys, uh, if you're getting wasted a lot early on, jump into passive mode uh, or play single player. Uh, it just saves getting uh, beasted all the time and getting frustrated with the fact that you're dying all the time. Number five, um, you lose your cash if you hold it in your put on your person when you die. So uh, every time you've got a substantial amount of money, bank it. Um, it's, the, it's very easy to do. You don't have to go to the ATM like the game suggests. Just go to your phone, head over to the web browser and go to money uh, and then go down, just deposit the money that you've got there, it's all safe. Number six, how to increase that piggy bank of yours. Well. Uh, Play the missions, do the death matches, do the races. It's all good way of uh, getting still stats up and, and money up. Uh, the repair missions are good because uh, you're not requiring any ammo during the missions, which costs and reduces that net profit from them. Uh, you can steal cars and sell them at Elos Customs. Now, uh, know the cars that are best uh, to sell. Uh, the Lampadati Phalon uh, and the Galavanta Baller version 2 will net you $9,000, which is quite good, but you can only do this uh, every uh, 45 minutes. The convenience stores can be robbed and they'll get you between one and 2,000, um, but make sure you're wearing a mask because uh, the shopkeepers will recognize you the next time you go in. Uh, and finally, you can knock off the money trucks that are around the map, but you, I think you have to unlock this uh, through Leicester. Uh, so you gotta be a, uh, a few levels up. Number seven is more of a don't than a do. Um, Getting your hair cut, buying clothes, getting tattoos, customising your car, all costs uh, go. Uh, so um, try and refrain from uh, going down and customising your character early on because uh, you really want to be saving up for uh, that property uh, to get yourself uh, moving. Which leads me nicely on to number eight. Uh, now, you want to save up for a garage. Your 25K, I think, will get you the cheapest garage, which is the unit 124 at Poplar Street, uh, which gives you a two garage slot garage. Uh, and by doing this, uh, unlocking this, you get access to your mechanic, who's really handy because uh, you can phone up, uh, phone him up using your phone uh, and he'll drop your car off to you uh, or in the vicinity near you. 
uh, but it also gives you access to the uh, RSH which is uh, quite a nice little sports car and it's free uh, via the social club so make sure you register on the social club and then you get this car for free so that's it guys that's my beginner's guide to GTA online I hope it's been helpful uh, if it is give me a thumbs up if you didn't like the video thumbs down and let me know why uh, if you could that'd be cool and uh, yeah thanks for watching see you next time